what it really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby girl, we're golden Yeah, about to see it shine Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Galaxy S4. It's uh, still running Android 4.4.2, so you can see right here, 4.4.2, we still got the full drop down menu, all those good stuff. And we're gonna upgrade this Galaxy S4 9505 from Android 4.4.2 to Android 10. That's right, the Android 10, that's from the Pixel, you can see I got a Pixel 2. Android 10, yes, we're gonna upgrade this thing from Android 4.4.2, all right? 4.4.2 right here to Android 10, the latest version of Android as of recording on this video. So, let's see how to do that. Okay, so this is the ROM that we're gonna use. It is Linux OS 17. This is only for preview, okay, by Side GDC team. So, big thank you to Side for the ROM, okay? Now, this ROM is only working for the JFLTX, okay? So, only for the 9505 and I think some out of the other um, versions, but not for the 9500. Okay, so you must have the 9505 version. So you can see here, mine is the 9505 and everything. And yes, so again, this ROM is not for daily use. Okay, there's some things that doesn't work. For example, example right here, as you say, the camera and seller service might have some issues so again this rom only to prove that it is possible to use android 10 on your s4 okay so let's see how to install it okay so the first thing you gotta do you have to download the rom okay and i will put the link in the description and okay now we're gonna turn off the phone okay and then we're gonna press power volume down and home button at the same time okay so three two one and once you see this logo let go the power button and there you go okay so we go volume up and now we have the download mode now we're gonna connect the phone and we're gonna open up odin okay 3.13.1 okay now we see right here the id com tab is blue next we have to download twerp okay so i will put link to twerp in the description also twerp is basically the custom recovery that we use in this video so this is my twerp okay so this is my twerp right here okay now click open and click on start recovery okay it's reset it we're gonna wait for the phone to show up until the samsung logo okay and then we're just gonna take off the battery because we don't need the phone to boot up immediately. Okay, do that. And now we're gonna press power, volume up, and home button at the same time to go to twerp in three, two, one, three, four, five. Okay, once that's vibrate, let's go to the power button. And you see right up there, the ID comp tab is blue and set warranty bit recovery. Just keep pressing the volume up and the home button. Okay, now we hit twerp. Okay, we're gonna click on software modifications. Okay, so there's the ROM right there, Lineage GFLTEXX. Click copy it to the phone. Okay, so once the ROM is copied, we're gonna go to wipe. I'm gonna do a factory reset. Okay, and then we're gonna go home, install, go to your storage because it's on my internal storage. That's why I don't want to move, wipe it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this can see there. Lineage JFLTE, okay, Android 10. Let's uh, go ahead and flash it, three, two, one. And we're gonna wait for it. Okay, so the phone is installed. Now we're gonna click reboot a system, do not install. And we're gonna see, you know, Android 10 booting up on the S4, the 9505. Okay, so that ROM is quite fast of booting up, probably because it doesn't have any gaps. Okay, so now at the Linux OS setup, we're gonna click on next, and English, and Wi-Fi, I don't really wanna do that. At least Wi-Fi works, as you can see right there. And no, no, okay. We'll click on help improve and enable privacy guard, okay. And 
skip and hit on start okay as you can see here look at that my friends this is lineage os 17 Android 10 on the Samsung Galaxy S4 9505 and here you go you can see right there Android 10 okay which is Android Q how do you, oh there we go something they do something like that the Q they, they changed the Easter egg up on the Q but you know it's kind of like that Android 10 and I think we have live display so let me turn that off display display um, off, off. okay there you go so you can see there's just way better okay so here it is again there not there's is not even gaps that's compatible as far as far that i can search around on google okay and open gaps doesn't have it available yet for android 10 but you can always go to for like apk pure or something like that but as you can see here also camera is not working so let me first connect it to the internet and i will see for example like open camera or maybe something like that will work okay okay click on settings a lot from the source open camera let's see will the camera work click on open and allow allow okay okay fail to open the camera okay so the camera app actually does not work and yeah, so again, as I said earlier, this ROM is not intended for, you know, for daily use. You know, I mean, you don't, they're not gonna have the camera working. So I don't think the SIM card working. I don't have any SIM cards to try it out, but we can try the mic if it's working. So, wow. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, so we're gonna go that. Okay, here it is, audio, so click on there. Okay, so you can see there, mic works. Okay, the microphone works, so maybe if you have like a VoIP calls or, you know, there's internet phone call application, you might be able to make some phone calls. But yeah, the ROM performs very well. Okay, so I mean, for example, again, here, go to YouTube again to prove to you guys. As you can see there, media playback does work on this ROM. Okay. Okay, so we have also have dark mode again on Android 10, a full universal dark mode. So advanced, dark theme, supported apps, blah, 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 got it. And there we go. It's kind of look, look a little bluish on the settings app. I'm not sure why, but yes, it has full dark mode. And you can see there, darkens everything. You can also turn the on and off auto brightness, go to edit and change your panels and everything. So yes. In order to uninstall applications, you probably just gonna use like APK Pure or download APKs. And yeah, so far the phone runs great on Android 10. And yeah, thank you to Side from JDC Team. You know, but this guy, he can upgrade this phone from literally maybe Android 501 or in, in my case 4.4.2 to the latest version of Android. All right, can you believe that? Not even my my Note 9, you know, my Note 9 still on Pi. This phone runs a newer version Android than the current Samsung device right now, which is crazy. So again, thank you to Side and the GDC team for this ROM, but the uh, camera issues and everything, because you know, they probably will fix this in the future and you just have to wait. And I said again, this ROM is not really intended for personal use for like main use you know if you want to play around with android 10 and you know all the good things you know it will still very very well i mean look at that it performs amazing yes it performs very very good okay so thank you guys for watching this video and i will catch you guys in the next video peace out